<laughs> I'm going in. Gentlemen, I'm Seb, and welcome to the official Valve published Mac 10 guide for CSGO. When I first realized how many people use this gun wrong, I was I was horrified. No! I was sick to my stomach. So in this video, I a highly qualified, decorated CSGO veteran will teach you not only how to use this gun correctly, but also the secrets the pros don't want you to know. Okay. Oh, shit. Start fingering each other's assholes. Fuck, dude, I want to be a dwarf. <laughs> This is why my mom thinks I'm <laughs> worthless. You have been receiving significantly more griefing abuse reports than most players. Yeah, you're a pussy. You're a pussy. What? Bro! Why are we- These guys have to be global elite. Good evening. We live in a world of chaos, folks. Chinese balloons, train derailments, and International Women's Day. But in this chaos, one of the biggest issues Americans face here at home is being forgotten. Gang violence. Now, more than 2,300 people are victims of gang-related homicide every year in the United States. And one disturbing fact we'd like to make our audience aware of is the frequent use of this military-grade submachine gun by gangs. It's called the MAC-10, and the Washington Post has labeled it a cop-killer gun. Their lightweight and high rate of fire make them perfect for street shootouts and so-called drive-by operations. Who knows? These thugs might target your homes next, folks. This is the drive-by method. Many pros have been using this technique with the MAC-10 for years, but their greatest fears come coming true because I I'm leaking it. The strategy is pretty simple. Find a corner, this door for example, and then hold A and mouse 1 at the same time until you've crossed to the other side. If you haven't killed them, hold D and mouse 1 and repeat back and forth until the guy dies. On bigger angles like this one, you, you keep running until you hit the other wall and then you run back. Look, everyone knows you're not actually supposed to aim with the MAC-10. Look at this guy. Look. In fact, these machine guns, you just spray the bullets. You don't even have to aim. Here we go. It's not fucking cool, aiming. Man. The MAC-10 is all about rushing and spraying, and this is the best way to do that. Oh my fucking god. I don't remember the last time I had fun playing this game. Alright, after you master the drive-by, we need to talk about your crosshair. Usually, in CSGO, you have the freedom to personalize your crosshair and still be competitive, but... When you're using the MAC-10, that's not the case. There's only one viable crosshair for the MAC-10, and I'm putting it on the screen now. Copy these commands into your console, and your game should look something like this. If you think this crosshair would be really annoying and inconvenient to play with, you should kill yourself. Actual skilled players recognize the huge advantage this crosshair gives you, but I'll explain anyway. Think about how much is on your screen when you're playing CSGO. Just in this frame, I can see this, 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 all of these things, but these distractions could delay my reaction time if someone comes around this corner. Okay, how about now? Now, if someone pops out from behind there, I'm completely focused on them. I can only see exactly where I'm looking. Think about those pros who play with the four to three aspect ratios and have like giant fucking black bars covering half their screen. This is just like that, but to the next level for good players. With the MAC-10, you shouldn't be checking angles or playing methodically, you should be completely focused on what's right in front of you, because all you're doing is rushing and spraying. This crosshair is the key to cutting out all distractions. Oh my god. That was like that one pro clip with the op. A little, a little bit more inaccurate, but yeah. It was yeah, probably it's... better, I'd say, no, actually. No, no, it was probably no, no. a better clip. Now you have the best technique and the optimal settings for the MAC-10. If you combine those with quick decision making and a high game IQ, you'll basically be global elite level. Let's take a look at some of my own genius gameplay for some examples. Pushing mid on cash can be difficult because of the long angles the MAC-10 isn't suited for, but I'll show you how to make up for this gun's short range. You can see I'm pushing from boost and send him some warning shots to keep him away for now. I throw down a molly to make sure he can't peek again, then toss out a nade while pushing up. Now, you might think I was aiming for the window and missed because I'm incompetent or something, but 
That is absolutely not what happened. This was bait to confuse him and make him think I'm incompetent when I'm actually a genius. I confuse him again by smoking my own molly and rush through, giving me the perfect lineup to kill him. But I keep running. I couldn't see him because of my crosshair, but I definitely knew he was there. I actually chose not to shoot him to clear out CT in case, you know, anyone was there. So after confirming there was nobody in CT, no urgent opponents to kill, I close out this simple cash mid push with the kill. Simply outplayed. 1v3, dust 2. The bomb's down and I'm retaking the site. Somebody's window, someone's platform, and the last one's flanking me tons. The two on site know where I am, so I have to take some drastic measures. I throw down a molly, cutting off the path towards window, effectively trapping myself. But what they'd never expect, I run through my own molly. Now at this point, he's completely lost, so I push up with the Mac 10 and lob a nade through window. Obviously, this nade wasn't useless, I had a plan. This nade pressures him over to door, where I use my tunnel vision crosshair to kill him instantly. I know the last two are on sight, so I head towards window. Both of them are still watching door, and at this point, I'm five steps ahead, and I push out window for a clean drive-by. In my peak, I saw that the last one was rushing door probably trying to flank me. Obviously, he doesn't realize he's up against one of the best CSGO athletes in the world. I double back to door and cut off his rush, closing out another easy round. If there was one main takeaway from this clip, I'd definitely say it's the crosshair. I mean, look, it's just, it's overpowered, really. I think they might have to remove it. It's just so good. This final example is way more complex than the other two were. I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised if some pros can't understand it, but I'll do my best to explain anyway. All right, you can see I'm pushing outside on nuke and I'm behind this box. Keep in mind, I have one teammate behind me too with Nop. I have a feeling someone is right on the other side of the box and these gunshots confirm it. So knowing that someone is right behind there, Molly goes down. Now he's completely disoriented. How do they know I'm here? Where should I go? Why did he throw a Molly? He's asking himself all these questions and while he's lost in thought, a perfectly executed drive-by. And yeah, so that's a perfect example Oh, you thought it was over? This is the difference between me and you. Given all the context, all the positions, you still couldn't figure out that there was someone on top of Marshmallow waiting to push me. Anticipating he'd drop down, I throw out a flash to disorient him. You may think this was a bad move, but you're wrong again. Moving into this cubby made my teammate with the op think it's safe to push forward, putting him in a perfect position to finish this guy off. That's right, from the beginning, I controlled this whole chessboard. Not only did I successfully manipulate the opposing team, I also positioned myself to make my team act exactly like I wanted them to. This is what true genius looks like. Oh my god. Fucking your mouth, Twitch. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Doing Project 100 where I don't masturbate for 100 days. Those two wongs make a white, so... What? Nice shot.